And now this room took me a lot longer than every other room. Not every room, but you know, it took quite a while. We have the space wind that is pushing us all the way to the right. Very fast, which means it's very difficult to uh, position yourself right. Also, I know it's going to the left. I'm just crazy. So yeah. Very difficult to time right. I think it changes halfway through though is the thing. So let's do some wave dashing there. Use the bubble to get up there to the activator. I think falling back to the bubble is the way to go so we can use the spring to get to the middle here. This is also a checkpoint, so that's good. And now it's going to the right. This right bit took me far too long. It took me too long. So we have to wave dash to start off. Hit the spring, hit another spring, hit the spring, hit the spring, and then get to the ends using the wind probably. But we need to have our dash the whole way through basically. And we can't miss, which is difficult with the wind. The wind makes it just crazy. I can't imagine trying to get golden strawberries in this. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I missed. That was a quite a quite quite a way though. Okay. Okay. I can't believe how much of this I cut out. <laughs> I haven't I don't think I watched this in its completed form just because it's so long that I wanted to just record it without watching it after editing. Okay, though. This room is quite interesting because we have those panels on the walls that make us go up the walls faster. And on the other side of them is ice, so we sl slide them down those and we can't grip it. So I found that we need to launch ourselves from the left side as best as we can to get to the crystals and then wave... no dash wall jump to from the other side the, on the ice side to get further in basically not doing that don't dash back to the other side and try to jump from there nope that's not good also the crystals don't come back which I found so only some of the crystals come back which is just to completely rude but I mean that's the way it's made so Oh please, oh please, grab the crystal, thank you. And then go to the second part. That second part was tricky to get right. So, but here we go. This looks like it's the run. I, I, I Again, I cut so much out of this that I, I'm in, impressed. There we go. There we go. I cut so much out of this and it's still so long. Okay, up we go. Need to dash wall jump to get up to that top block as well going the complete opposite direction of the way we're wall jumping from to somehow make it through. And there we go, hit the activator, dodging the spike at the end. And you want to go off to the right side just to save where you're up to because at that point you need to go back and around. But it saves where you're up to so you don't go back at the very least, so. Unless you're a speedrunner and I guess you would probably skip that. Oh boy, it's fine. Just need to do dash around there. This room, again, this, this room took a while. Because we have this block here that we need to take with us to the end. We have some obstacles that it can break out of the way. Those blocks there and those blocks there. And there. And we need to not get pushed into the spikes there at the end and dash up to victory. So manipulating this block is going to be difficult. Especially because we need to take it up right here, so we can hit the activator. The activator isn't to open that spot for the block, it's actually just open it up for us. The block goes through the spike passage, basically. Like that. Then we need to go down faster than that. A lot faster than that. I think I was waiting for the block to come back. Not, not, not what you want to do. But I mean, I was learning at the time, so... It's fair enough. Okay. Do that. Not quite. And not quite again. Come on. You need, you need to be fast getting around that edge to get it in the right spot. Unless you have the block closer to the middle of where you need to be. I guess. But anyway, made it to the uh, feathers finally. The feathers, you need to dash into that block to get it to go down into that block on the ground there. Which is also pretty precise. And then we need to make it dash into the blocks on the other side. But not like that, because that didn't work at all. 
And we need to also dodge the ceiling there so we don't get caught on it and just make it to the end. Get the block too low and it gets you stuck there. Quite sad, really. But we're almost at the end of this room. Oh, grip, 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 grip. Nope, it's all gone. It's all over. <laughs> Can't recover from that. So sad to see. Okay. Not quite there, but we're getting close. Need to duck there and grab that. Duck again, and then jump up there and dash up. I, I forgot to dash, apparently. Also, getting stuck on there is sad. But here we go. The full run of the room. I got a lot more confident as I got through, apparently. <laughs> Not even waiting for the block before going first. Grab that, and up we go. Okay, space wind pushing us against the direction we're trying to go. And feathers all the way through, dodging spikes and stars, so... Oh, that was close. That was a good recovery. Wow. And now it's going again uh, with us. We're going really fast through here. And now against us again. You can tell which way it's pulling by the, the background. Black hole, basically. The void. Nope, not quite. That was pretty close, though, to the end of that. It took me quite a few tries to get back to that point after the first time, because I kept dying in the beginning bit. Okay. Okay. Almost there. You need to dash at that the same level as the block so you can grab onto it, otherwise it doesn't work. But there we go. Let's go into the feather. And get launched up. I didn't ask for your help. I know, but come on, Madeline. Think this through. What's your own game here? All that matters is finding Granny. Then maybe I can bring her home. Even if the whole universe is against me. Aren't you worried about getting lost up here? I'll figure it out. Look, Madeline. We're in space chasing a mysterious bird. None of this is real. You're dreaming. She's gone. It's time to wake up now. But if we wake up, we'll never see Granny again. I can't believe you would- you want to, her to disappear forever. You're always so selfish. First of all, it's a bird. We don't know that it's her. And second of all... We need to take a step back here. No, you need to take a step back. I'm doing this. With or without you. I'm done letting you hold me back. Granny needs me. Okay. Good luck. Still on our own. And now we've made it to the next section. Which has changed its theme considerably. And now we have these timed blocks. Which we have more than two this time. We have four. Adding a green and a yellow one. We need to make it through all of this. It's very helpful having the, the blocks all together up there to show which one's next, basically. Getting used to which order they flash in. Uh, but we need to keep our dash once we get to the pink block there, and then dash wall jump off the yellow to the green, then we need to bounce off the blue, but not into the spikes, and then bounce up into the where the spikes were to get the next crystal, and then so on, so on, basically. Also, the blocks won't spawn in until after you're not overlapping with them. So if you're overlapping with a block, it won't spawn in. Which will be important for one of the next few rooms, so... Also, it's still crazy to me that we're up to this section and there's still a ton left to go. Uh, but anyway... 
Not like that. That's not how you do it. Okay. Also, when I was recording this, I didn't have the the audio in sync. So I was had to figure out the pattern with the weird audio. Ah, uh, but it was mostly it was mostly right. It was just slightly wrong. Just almost unnoticeably. Okay, bounce, not into the spikes. Okay. Dash wall jump. That green block can be a little bit slow, so you need to take your time on the yellow block. Take that, and then go up. Nope, missed it. That was very close, though. Okay. And dash wall jump. That's going to be too fast. No, it isn't. I died several times to that, so... I know what I'm talking about. Dash up, and then dash to the green. Jump up to the blue, and bounce up before the pink can respawn. Very good. And now we have this room. A lot of springs that only appear when the platforms they're connected to appear. We need to get the right timing, and we need to hit all of the activators. Okay. That, that went away at the complete wrong time. I had a little bit of trouble getting this just right, because I was going a bit too fast sometimes. And getting to the points where they're supposed to be before they spawn in. Okay, I got the, the yellow spring that time. That really helped. I should have dashed. Why didn't I dash? Why didn't I dash? It's fine, because now we can actually make it through without any problems. I said bounce off of that. Of course I did. I didn't try dashing. Okay, this room. I took a break between the starting of this room and finishing it, so... It's quite uh, a, a mind bender if you don't know what you're doing. Because we have these blocks flashing pink and blue. And we need to have a dash when we get into the middle of the blue block, so we can actually make it to the pink with a bit of extra time. And have the double dash so we can get through like that. I was almost right. Ah, uh, but now we need to do that. Right. Good. Grab that, and then... Nope. Took took too long. I need to go through the pink. Okay, good. Use our extra dash to keep us in the air longer, so we can grab the block there. And then we need to get to the double crystal. So I can keep moving. Okay. Good. And actually, we could have made it to the end there if I had timed myself better. Okay, but here we go. Let's do it. Let's go through. Quickly and carefully. Oh my goodness. Nice, nice, nice. Because I was inside of the block, it didn't spawn in on me. And it worked out quite well. Now we have three blocks here. Ticking in an interesting pattern. That took some getting used to. Also, how is there still so much more of the level to go? Oh, young me, how little you knew about this level when you got to that one bit and thought it was the end. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. There was several points in this level where I thought it was going to be the end, and it was not. Ah, uh, but anyway, we need to get through here using the right timing. And if we can overlap the blocks just right, it will make it a lot easier for us when going through. Ah, uh, but the time blocks will go towards us as we get further in, so... Oh, that's not good. Uh, maybe? No. Okay, this is the run, for sure. Since we're so far in. Okay. Wait for the yellow, and go now. Get to the... Double crystal. Next double crystal. Okay, we're at the end now. Oh, I don't... Nope. Not quite. Okay, this one, for, for sure. Surely. Surely. Wait for yellow. Go. I don't know what I failed there. I was overlapping with the block too much, I guess. Okay, good. Have the double dash so we can make it to the end. Cool. This room didn't take too long either. It's just two colors. And we need to use the red bubbles to get around. And we can use that top bit with the blue long spike block there to make ourselves have a little bit of extra time to get through. Just need to dash down there. Go over the top. Nope. Not like that. Dash down. Over the top. Up. Left. Down. Up again. Nope, not like that. You can't go through the pink block there. Because it's not a checkered pattern, it's a one blue through pink, so you need to time it much better than that. So go 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 up again, and it'll make it a lot easier to go round the top. And this room took me a long time as well. Because we need to have the dash when we get to the yellow platform in the middle there. So we can use it to get to the blue platform and then have it timed out so we can wall jump dash off the 
pink platform there to get to the double dash. Hold onto the yellow block for a second, then double dash to the blue spring. I hope you got all that because it's 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 a it's an experience. It took me quite a while to get it right, so especially with the timing with the music to try and get that right. So I've already failed here because I don't have my dash. Also, I wall jumped off of the spikes. That's fine, uh, but we need to uh, wave dash off the first platform and then the blue platform as well to get to the pink. And then we need to be ready for that and dash around that, basically. But because if we don't, we won't have the time to uh, dash wall jump off that platform there to get to the double crystal. Okay, good. And like that. We need to get back to the pink block though before the yellow block spawns in so we can actually jump to the yellow block. It's a very specific room and we can't waste a dash there. Here we go. Nope. I probably should have cut that out but apparently I didn't. That's fine. It's probably this attempt anyway, so. Okay, good. I remember like one, two, three, swap. One, two, three, swap. That's... That's how I was remembering when the block swapped as well, so... Man, it was an experience getting through this game. I had no idea what I was doing when I was going into the hard stuff. I was not ready at all, but I did it, so... Just like that, good. Now we need to dash... Wave dash to get to that crystal. Dashing a bit in between as well to get to the platform of cross as well. Okay, good. Now we need to dash at the right time to get across this blue one and then dash to the bird. We're actually about to catch the bird right now. That just shows how far in we are. We're finally there. After all this time, I'm almost catching the bird. Like that. Got you, finally. Now where's Granny? Oh no, are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Wait, please don't leave. At least tell me you're part of Granny, right? If you have to go, then take me with you. Madeline, stop! You can't go with her. Shut up. You couldn't force me to give up on the mountain. And you can't face force me to give up on Granny. Go away. I'm not forcing you. I'm asking not you i I'm asking not you nicely. I miss Granny too. She meant a lot to both of us. Then why is it so easy for you to leave her behind? It's not easy. Maybe I pushed us to get over it too quickly. But this isn't healthy either. I just want us to survive this. I know she's gone. And this is just a dream. Catching this bird won't bring her back. I'm so sorry, Madeline. Let's wake up and we'll face this together. No. Not yet. I want to set things right first. What do you mean? The bird. It's trapped here because of me. We need to help it escape before we leave. Granny wouldn't want it to be stuck like this. You're right. Let's do it. But as soon as we're done, we need to wake up. This place is so weird. I want to go home. So now, we have a bit of help from the part of us. And also, this is going to be my favorite part of the, the, the whole game, probably. It's hard, but I really enjoyed it. 
So let's get through. Also, the music is cool. But now, we have our friend helping us get through. With our little boosts as we go through. Which we need to hit all of to make sure we get through. We also have the, the glider... Uh... Oh, no, we're, well, I can't remember what it's called. The jellyfish. We have the jellyfish again. I don't know how I forgot what a jellyfish was. Uh, but anyway, we need to combine a few things to get through using the jellyfish. Helping the bird get further in. And also, the bird throws us forward. So they added a new concept at the very end here, which combined with the part of us boosting us is so cool. I love this so much. It's, I mean, it's difficult through here, but it's so cool. I just wish this was used more. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is where I started struggling a little bit. Every part before that I didn't die, I don't think. Okay, good. Also started cutting this up a lot more than before. Okay, I probably should have thrown jellyfish there a lot earlier, because we need to boost into it at that point. Okay, let's go. It felt so good to get this far, but it feels even better to get even further. Ooh, not- oh, wow, that worked. And I like how we're disabling all the electric, like, uh, fuses along the way as well. Anyway, let's bounce off of this fish here so we can burst it and get through. Use our friends to get through further. Our friends being a part of us and also the cr the bird. I love- I love that- I love the combination of things here. Also, I also like how the music is also changing as we go further into this as well. Like each room, I think, probably most of the rooms add a little something to it. Oh, I need to dash that, hit that with the dash, otherwise it won't work because we have to hit both of these, the, we have to hit the electric things twice. So we can hit it once and then use the boost to hit it again. Okay, here we go. Very nice. So smooth. You really have to take some of this slow, otherwise you're gonna struggle with it. But anyway, let's boost into that, hit that, and then go again, because it gives us a boost back after we break it open, so... That is good. And I missed the crow- uh, I, missed, I missed a crow. Oh boy. We need to get a little bit more height than I'm currently getting than that. So let's see if we can do that. Wave dash. Get a little bit of extra height, and get another dash. Okay, a nice combination of our friends again, to get into this. Oh, I love them working together, it's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, now this bit, I need to time it just right, because that platform also falls. I think you can take, like, specific paths through there. And there's also the upper path here that I didn't take. But it's interesting that, that those are there. I don't think it changes anything, probably. Whilst the music's changing. Nice. And we need to get boosted at the right time to not get pushed into the electricity there. But also so we can get across to the bird again. So let's do that. Oh, it's so good. Dash to the bird again, and we're through. Now, I can't tell what this room is about, but we need to do some wave dashing and bouncing off of them to get to where we need to go. I think particularly using their explosions will help. Man, I, I want to find this part of the song so I can listen to it some more. Dash over that, use the bird, and then feather. We can dodge the fish there, or we can use them to get around. And I actually spent quite a few explosions on them, and I still managed to get through, so. And that was, like, the first time getting to that point, and I didn't fail somehow, so. That was good. And now we have these, uh, dream blocks, I guess. I don't know what to call them. Which I had a little bit of trouble of with, but we also need to remember that we can also dash or jump as soon as we get out of them to get a little bit of extra distance.
Oh, it's... This is just my favourite part. I don't know what to say about the last room, though. <laughs> the last room took me a long time. We haven't made it there quite yet, though, but we're getting close. Since we're up to this section, we're getting close to the end. I think the final room of the game took me the longest. Probably out of any room in the game. It might be difficult to judge with this video, but still. I mean, this whole level took me a long time, so... And we'll look at that after we finished it. Nope, that's not good. Need to time everything with the jellyfish to get through there. Since those electricity why is electricity moving? I don't know what the logic is in that, but anyway. I mean it I mean it, it probably moves, but I don't think it moves like that, so let's turn it off. Make everything right. Oh the music. Anyway, we need to get this fish into position, so let's dash down there. We could also just go straight to where we need to go. Down here to get it into the right spot as well. And that one pushes it up, which we need to also ex make it explode to get further in with that. So let's jump and dash, explode, and then bird. Don't dash, because we need to grab onto that platform there and then da jump around dash. So, like that. We have a double crystal here that we need. We need to be on the opposite side of that block there. So we can get between those two blocks in the electricity. Good. And then we need to get to the bird. I, I, I had a lot of trouble when the bird flung me, because I'd always land in the, the electricity and die. Uh, but I, I somehow, sometimes made it onto the platforms. And then I got here and got confused, because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So, I thought I was supposed to use that platform there in the electricity to boost myself up. When it was going at full speed, but no. What you're supposed to do is actually use the, the first platform to boost yourself up. Because the first platform, when it goes back up into its original position, will have a momentum when you jump off of it, so... Let's go. Very good. Oh, this is so good. It's so strange watching this back with the... the better runs, I guess. Seeing it after completion with the best... Attempts. There we go. Not quite to the final room yet, but we're getting again. We're getting close. We have these springs here that we need to use on these moving blocks to make our way through. Switching to the top one there, and then using the bottom one, which is going to stop at that block there. Use the part of us to stand air a little bit longer, and then we need, need to use the spring longer, which I didn't realize, so I died. Okay, we need to stay on top of it a little bit longer than I actually stayed on the, on that run as well. Because we need to use it to hit the... the... the power thing. Otherwise we just die. So here we go. I got the timing on the first two blocks pretty well. There we go. Good, 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 good. Stay on the air, stay on the air, stay on the, stay on the platform, as long as possible. Okay, dash, bounce, dash, dash. Good. Oh boy, this room. We have to do a lot of wave dashing in this room. F f a lot of wave dashing. It, I struggled a lot with it. Because you have to not mess it up at all. So wave dash there, get around that block. Wave dash again. Hit that spring. Wave dash if you can, maybe. We need to get that timing on those to like. We need to get to those two blocks there, just right, so we can wave dash across. Which I really struggled at that point. But once you get past that point, it's fairly simple from for the rest of it. So you get really good at wave dashing when you get to this point in the level, though. Oh, we made it through. Just need to make it to a little bit more wave dash, and then wave dash again. But of course, I messed up. On the last wave dash. I did that twice. But anyway, let's actually do it now. I don't know how long it took me to do that one bit. More than I'd like to admit, probably. Okay. Good, good, good. Also, what's with the broken heart stuff in the background? I, I, I mean... It probably means something, but I don't know exactly what. This was interesting. 
Because that, that gap there is very precise. And you need to dash through to make it through. All the blocks fall, of course. Dash again. Very precise. Uh, we have the wind helping us a little bit. But it's a, it's, a, it's an interesting room. Because it's not what I'd expect. But anyway, let's make it through now. Oh, it's so satisfying to bounce off of those... Jump off those blocks like that. So good. There we go. And now... I don't think this is the last room. No. But this room I struggled with. Need to bounce off that fish there and get around there, which was quite difficult. And then dash up to the bird. So we can't waste that double crystal. Up again. There we go. And then we need to duck. If only my past self could hear me. Although I think I was probably too slow if I could hear my my future self or something. Also probably wanted to grab that double crystal before trying to take out the generator. Up we go. Duck down, jump. Oh, probably want to take that boost. Okay, dash to that and then break it open and get to the end. Okay, we've got some springs here. A spring. We've got a jellyfish as well. We need to dash wall jump to get up high enough. We need to get it around the fields that will kill it as well. There's a lot of that in this level, so let's do it. Okay, good. Okay, thank goodness that platform didn't fall. Also, thank goodness I have my dash still. Oh, this room. I can't remember if this room was difficult, but I believe... Yeah, this this is an interesting room. I actually like this room. Because that block doesn't come back. Once it gets to the end, it goes into... It slots into place and doesn't come back. We need to wave dash on those platforms that fall down fast enough to get onto the block. We also need to make sure that we dash into the block and then get to the bird quickly so we don't get left behind as well. A good, a good concept for a room. Just like that. Okay, now this... This is it. We're almost out of here. Let's do this. For Granny. This is the last room. And the, the telescope doesn't actually show all of it because there's an up, up section that we go up to. And then back down again. Once we get to this bit right over... Nope, not quite there yet. Uh, right over here it goes up and then back down again over here. And that's the end of the level. Those, th those jellyfish are the last thing you'll do. So there we go. Let's get started. We need to make the most of our jellyfish friend here. To try and get up higher, as well as going forward. Which I, I definitely didn't do at first, but I, I, I got the hang of it later on. And then we need to use the the fish to explode to get ourselves through, uh, to keep up the, with the jellyfish so we can get it up higher and keep going. Not like that. Oh, almost like that. But, I mean, better than that. A lot better than that. The music is so good. It's very intense, which I don't know if this is what I would use this song for, but I mean, I mean, and it could work. I, I just think it doesn't work for me specifically in my brain. My brain, my brain's wrong. I know, but still. We also need to get that jellyfish through there. I found the best way to use that, that get through that gap with the jellyfish is actually to dash sideways into it, like that. So we can grab it and throw it up there so it bounces around. And we just stay in the air so we can get back to it because that platform also falls down. Oh my goodness, I killed I killed it. Ah, uh, if you'd fail for a while though. Are you alright, Madeline? We're so close, but it feels impossible. Come on, just a few more tries. We can do this. I believe after 10 minutes of dying here, it told me that... Like, it gave me a little bit of... Uh... What's the word? I can't think of the word. It encouraged me a little bit to keep going. But I mean, it took me a lot longer than 10 minutes to get through, and it took me a lot longer than 20 minutes to get through. So, that advice was there pretty much at the beginning, compared to how, when I actually got to the end of the level. Also, love the cassette there. Here's the up section. 
with the wind pushing us up. Now, I didn't know at first that that meant that we could actually go down still if we press down on the controls controller. So I I tried to let go. Not what we want to do. What not what you want to do there. Just need to be careful as it's pulling you up. So push down there. We can use it. To, we can kind of push down to stay in place a little bit longer than the game wants us to, which is good. Get around that. Now I need to get past these stars. Once you know you can move down, it's a lot. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense because I don't think you can make it through without pressing down. But I, 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 I'm sure I could be proven wrong if somebody's really good at the game. Then we have to dodge all of these explosions so we don't get thrown into the wall. Which was easier said than done, of course. Especially if I bounced off of that other fish. But anyway. I cut so much out of this. You have no idea how much... yet. I will, I will probably say after I beat the level how long it took me. Just from the bit that we continued from. Not counting, not counting the bit that we did earlier. I mean, I'll, I'll still say how long the whole level took me. But still. Going slow, going slow, going slow. Good. Okay, good. We made it to this bit now. We can't get further until we hit the switch. Activator thing. So let's go up. There's also platforms in the electricity that don't do anything. Uh, but we need to throw the jellyfish into the switch, but we can't throw it from lower down on the screen. Otherwise, it won't. It'll despawn too quick. So we need to actually go up higher. And then let go. So here's the switch. Like that. Then go down, dash, dash again, then we dash over to the fish, bounce off of it, bounce off of the fish, and then get to the feather, but of course I messed it up. And of course I paused because I knew I'd messed up. Happens to the best of us. Okay. We're so close to the end though. We're so close. We just need to get down a little bit more. We just need to get down a little bit more. Oh, I let go. That's not what you want. To, that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay. Dash into that. Careful not to activate things that you're not supposed to, like that. Oh, you could probably still make it if you dash like that. Yep, but I missed. That's a shame. Okay, just a little bit further. We're almost up to the jellyfish section, which is the last section. So we're almost there. There we go. Need to bounce through. There's a lot of walls we have to chain together switching jellyfish, so. Let's go. Okay, good. There we go. And then explosion to push us through. I oh nope. Nope, I missed. Okay. Let's try this again. Good. I think this is the one. Possibly. Oh, not missed again. Surely now. Surely. 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 Please. Nope. Dashed the wrong way. Okay. This is the run. This is the run. You know, you know the run. It's, it's, it's the run, not the run. Well, maybe it is the run, but not the run. And if you've watched this before, you probably know exactly what I mean. Okay, very nice. I got very good at the beginning section again. Just like in previous seasides. Except this doesn't have a B-side or a C-side, thank goodness. It's, this is a... This is the D-side level. Where it doesn't have an A-side, B-side or C-side. It's the D-side. Not quite, but, you know, I, I can say that it is. Descending for dream, because you, you're asleep. This is all a dream. As we've been told. I'm going a bit fast there, but I'm... I've probably had some practice by this point. Many attempts failing there, probably. Or maybe getting further than that, I don't know. Cap we go. Let go. Dash, dash. 
grab that. Turn it down. I don't know why they put spikes in the electricity, but I guess that's fine. Go down. I like to stand on the side of that block so I can get a better angle for jumping. Let's go to the end. Let's do it. Here we go. And to the end. Of course, though, I messed it up. And that's the most depressing moment of the, my life, probably. There we go. It's not quite the end, but I mean, that's basically the end. I love the chain together of stuff here as well. The anyway, we have the feather, so we need to go up, and we also need to dash at the end, so let's go. Say goodbye to her for me. I could cry right now. I, I, I'm pretty sure I cried when I actually made it here as well. But here we are. Granny! Hey there, kiddo! It's so great to see you! I didn't know what to do without you. But you aren't real. This is just a dream. So what? That didn't stop you from coming all this way. You fi you finally found me, and now you care that, it, that it's just a dream? Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. I'm sorry that I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm dead. Funerals are for, for all you suckers stuck living without me. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much and... I really miss you. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going, like nothing happened? Like you aren't gone forever?
There she is. Long time no see, Strawberry. Hey, Theo. It's been forever. You went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages. Or answer answering your calls. Or replying to your emails. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I felt weird messaging you. I thought maybe you were mad at me for disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I figured the funeral might have triggered your anxiety, NBD. Next time at least, just let me know you're still alive. You feeling any better? Yeah. I'm finally starting to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy. But then I got to know her. And I thought she was mean. But she knew what I needed to hear, and she really helped me. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. Oh, that reminds me. I have something to show you. Oh? Remember how I told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Well, I was going through some of his old stuff with Alex. And check out this photo I found. Is that Granny? With your grandpa? Theo, that's amazing. It looks like they were friends. Just like us. It really sucks that they're gone. But it's nice to know that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah. That is nice. And that is the end of Celeste. 2,611 deaths. The last bit after the bit where we returned to the return to it took four and a half hours. And that brings us to a total of 24 hour, 24 and a half hours, 7434 deaths. We've done it. We did it. Farewell took me seven and a half hours to complete in total. But there we go. So thank you all for watching and thank you for sharing the mountain with me.
Thanks for playing. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.